Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. Welcome back athletes. Today we're doing a five minute powerful arm workout. Now this is going to be body weight only and this is just five minutes of a combination of movements that are going to sculpt and tone your arms like nothing before. Now this is a no stop workout and I also recommend for you to save this one because this is one that you can do while you're traveling, maybe while you're even sitting at your desk and just feeling like you need to work your arms a little bit, maybe you didn't have time to get to a gym, maybe you don't have any equipment, but I guarantee that today's workout is a killer. Now here's how it's gonna go down. You don't need anything at all to work your arms today with me. All you're going to need is just five minutes. Now I'm gonna share with you your first movement and then going forward, you're gonna check this box above to see what's coming up next. We've got 10 different exercises. We're gonna move from one to the next every 30 seconds without any breaks at all. Are you ready to get started? All right, let's do this. Now our first movement today is going to be circumduction. So you're gonna bring your arms down. Really important that you engage your shoulder blades. So down and back so that you're not up here doing the workout with me. You're gonna start to get really fatigued by the way as you do this workout together. And I really wanna make sure you're not gonna engage your upper traps and give yourself sore shoulders or a stiff neck. So really important here again to engage your shoulder blades, push them down and back. And now we're just gonna do circles, keeping the arms straight and we're gonna bring them forward so really tight small circles that we're gonna bring forward are you ready to get started let's do this all right in three two one and go now as we get started here I want you to make sure that your feet are just under the shoulders you're squeezing your glutes you're gonna add a little bit more stability in the core by doing that and then just try your best today to really challenge yourself not to drop your arms and you're gonna see very soon that you're gonna feel a sculpt you're gonna feel a burn, you're gonna feel toning, you're gonna feel the magic happening in your arms, but really, again, just try not to break, okay? So just breathe through it, and in just one moment, we're gonna reverse the direction, so keep your arms here. You may already start to feel that you're starting to fatigue, and now let's go the other way. Shoulder blades back and down. As soon as you start to feel that tension there, just bring your shoulder blades back, that's it. Keep it going. You got this. Really great, now continue to breathe here. And then you're probably now starting to feel some fatigue in the shoulders, super normal. I'm really happy to hear that. And in just one second, we're gonna bring our fingers to our temples and we're gonna bring the elbows together. So go ahead and bend now, it's fingers to temples, elbows together, open and then close. And this one is such a doozy. It doesn't seem like much. If you're able to touch the elbows in the front, amazing. If you can't, don't force it. Just do your best here. That's it, you got this. Good work, nicely done. All right, good job. And in just one moment, we're gonna bring the arms straight in front of us. Three, two, one, and break. All right, forward flexion, and then bring the elbows back. Keep the elbows up. I wanna see that the elbows are almost at the height of the shoulders. If you're feeling any pinching in the shoulders, drop the elbows slightly. Again, shoulder blades back and down. Relax those upper traps, that's it. Continue to keep those elbows up. You got it. 10 more seconds and then we're gonna keep the arms straight ahead in just 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. All right, now keep them here and let's go for circles. Shoulder blades back and down. Relax those shoulders, relax those traps. That's it, you got this. Stay here with me. It's amazing, just a little over two minutes in and I'm telling you, I feel my arms, I feel my shoulders. I'm definitely feeling some areas of the back, the rotator cuffs. All right, stay here now. And then in just a moment, we're gonna reverse the direction. Keep those elbows straight, don't drop the arms. Come on, you got this. Three, two, one, let's go the other way. That's it. Nicely done. That's it, good job. And then, when we're done with this, we're gonna do something really fun and that's called drivers. And normally we would do this with a dumbbell, but now that we've already added a couple of minutes here of tension, more like three minutes of tension, we're gonna do this 
without any weights because we're actually not going to need any weights at this point. All right, five seconds. Get ready here. Three, two, one. And now stay here with me. Imagine you have a beach ball between your hands and now you're just rotating that ball up and down. That's it. Keep the arms up. You got this. Good work. That's it. Keep breathing here with me. And then just one sec, we're gonna bring the arms back. Our elbows are gonna come right back to shoulder height and do some external rotation here on the shoulders. Three, two, one. All right, drive them back here. And now externally rotate. As you bring them down, stay at parallel. So stay horizontal with the floor, parallel with the floor. Try not to overly rotate. We're not wanting to impinge the bicep tendon. We're not really wanting to create any impingements right now, just getting in a beautiful, gorgeous burn, that's all. All right, good work. And now let's go ahead and bring our feet a little bit wider, push the knees out. And in one sec, we're gonna go ahead and lean forward. And from here, we're gonna bring our thumbs together, elbows back, lean a little bit more forward. And what we're doing is now getting the posterior deltoids. So we're getting some of those muscles in the back. We're getting the rhomboids. We're getting some of that teres major, teres minor. A lot of really the muscles that are engaging or attached to the scapula. That's it, you got this. Nicely done. All right, here it is. All right, and from here, bring the arms down and come all the way up, down, up. That's it, all the way down. Here we go, come on. Shoulder blades back and down. This is it, the final sprint. You got this. Slow it down just a little bit. Get more tension in there by slowing it down. Good work. 10 more seconds, come on, come on, stay here with me. We're almost there. And then three, two, one, and break. Oh, that feels so good. How was that for you? If you have more energy and some juice left in the arms, repeat one more time or check out the other workouts I have for you at the end of this video. I love to hear from you, so comment below. How was this for you? Was this easy peasy? Did you enjoy this? Is this what you want to see more of? This helps me to create the content that you love. And if you're new here, athletes, go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. All right, let's go. Refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this.